Hi, third grade. This is the second part of week one, unit one, week one, day five. We are going to conclude our foundations lesson today by taking a checkup, a day five checkup. So what you will need if you have it at home is your composition book, okay? Yesterday, we wrote on page two of our composition book. We did a practice. So today, you're just going to want to make sure that you are completing this checkup on page three. So check the bottom corner for the page number. Up at the top, you can please put today's date. And since this is a checkup over in the corner, I want you to put a check or an X to indicate that this is a checkup. So that means I am not going to reveal the answers for you today. You're going to do this work independently. So if you're doing this from home, you cannot have an adult help you, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is look at the top row for the sounds, all right? Next to number one in the sounds row, I want you to write anything that corresponds to this sound. Ready? Ch say it. Go ahead and write it and pause the video to give yourself time. The next sound that I want you to write near number two is k. Say it. Very good, same drill. If you need time to write, pause the video. Scooch over to number three. The next sound I want you to write is ah, uh, say it, ah. Uh. And number four, the last sound I want you to write is eh, say it, eh, very good. Now we're going to move down to the next row where it says review words. Find number one, and I want you to write quiz. Let's tap it. Ready? Qu -i -z. Quiz. If you don't have your composition book at home, you could be writing this down on a plain sheet of lined paper and bring it back to your, bring it back to your teacher whenever you come back to school. Number two, move across the page. The next word I want you to write is trust. Trust. Let's tap it. T -r -a -s -t. Trust. I trust that you are doing this work independently at home. Remember to pause if you need more time. Number three, the next word is Shift. Say it. Shift. Let's tap it. Shift. Shift. And lastly, number four, I want you to write the word sprint. Say it. Sprint. Let's tap it. Sprint. Sprint. That's a hard one. Now, boys and girls, make sure after you finish those four review words that you are marking them too. So pause the video, take your time, and check. Number one was quiz. Number two was trust. Number three was shift. And number four was sprint. So check your spelling and then mark them when you're confident. And when you're ready, Let's go down to where it says current words. The first word I want you to write there is patch. Say it. Patch. Let's tap it. P-A-C-H. Patch. Try to think of the rules we learned with that ch sound. And mark it as well. Number two, scooch on over. The next word I want you to write is lunch. Say it. Lunch. Tap it. L-A-N-C-H. Lunch. And don't forget to mark it. Keep pausing the video if I'm going too fast for you. Okay, down to the next row. Number three. I want you to write the word click. Say it. Click. Let's tap it. K -l 
I k click. And number four. The word is milk. Say it. Milk. Tap it. M i o k milk. Good job. Now we're going to go down to where it says sound alike words. Next to number one, you're going to write no or no, depending on my sentence. So listen to my sentence. No, you cannot write sloppily on your paper. Which no did I use? No, you cannot write sloppily on your paper. All right, now number two, you're going to write right or right. Listen to my sentence so you know which one to write. You are absolutely right. Thank you for sharing that. You are absolutely right. Thank you for sharing. Which right did you hear me use in that sentence? Okay, jump down to review trick words. The first trick word I want you to write is should. You should know how to spell should in third grade. Should. The second trick word I want you to write is have. You have to know how to spell have. And boys and girls, I'm only going to give you one sentence for you to write. So take your time. Remember your capital letters and punctuation. Check those words that you can stretch out and spell using our rules. And then at the very end, you can scoop your sentence into meaningful phrases. Are you ready for your sentence? Here we go. The duck will splash in the pond. I'll say it again. The duck will splash in the pond. All right, third grade, if you need to go back and re-listen to that so you can check your work, I advise you to do that. Take your time and check over it. Make sure you marked everything accurately. And when you come back to school, bring your paper to show your checkup. Okay, thank you.